Hey you guys, welcome back to another read for me. So I decided to pull some cards just to see what messages I can channel. I know for a fact that something's gonna come up surrounding like work, career, business, finances, because I have been getting like a couple of intuitive messages surrounding um, work, business, finances. So yeah, um, the first one y'all, it's about quality. So let's just say, um, I don't know, you have some type of business where you could be selling like clothes or something. I don't know. Make sure the quality is top tier. It's like, yeah, you can make a um, hundred sales or you can have a hundred orders in one day, but if the quality is not there, it's like, what are you doing? So just make sure whatever you're doing, if you have some type of skill or talent, y'all, or whatever you're doing, whatever you're putting out there to the world, especially, especially if you are in alignment with what you're supposed to be doing, make sure the quality is there. It don't matter how many, how much you're doing all in one day, but it's like, if it's trash, then it's like, you know, what are you really doing? So just make sure, you know, the quality is there. So, um, another one is, it's in regards to staying focused, like on your own goals and your own vision as well. Like not worrying about what somebody else got going on y'all stay focused on like what you doing out here, you know, as far as like goals, if you do got some or whatever type of vision that you could have for yourself. Okay. Let me see what shows up for y'all. We got the seven of swords that showed up. Um, this is too funny. But and I specifically asked about the collective, y'all, but or like all signs, whoever could be watching. Seven of swords, eight of wands. There's some type of communication that could be coming in, y'all, or some type of message. Um with this seven of swords, for some of you guys, whatever this message is, it, you could definitely need to move in silence about it. With the seven of swords, it's like you see how this like sneaking off. So it's some type of information. Also, too, this could be some type of like strategy or plan for someone as well. But I do feel like they need to move in silence from what I'm seeing here. It's like someone's leaving. Like he's literally like leaving a circus. <laughs> but let me see what else shows up here. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, there's some type of information, y'all, that's coming in. This could definitely be some type of, like, um, new business venture. It's definitely some creative energy. Um, this could be a spark of inspiration for some of y'all, but definitely some things that's going to be picking up. But it looks like it's some good news that's coming out with this Ace of Wands. Some, I was hoping a card would not fall, but hold on. We got a Knight of Swords that came out as well. Um, so it definitely looks like some quick moving energy that's coming out for you guys, whatever your plans are, because that, that's what I feel is like some type of plans, <sighs> whatever this is, that's coming in, you're definitely going to have something to celebrate for. I see someone celebrating some good news. Like you're going to be celebrating your success with this three of cups. Don't know exactly how it's going to come in, but it looks like it's in a form of some type of message or an email I don't know whatever whatever it is, but it's something that's coming towards you. This three of cups wanted to show up, but let me see. Tell me more. Actually, tell me about the seven of swords. Tell me about the seven of swords. Tell me about the seven of swords. I see you going into a new direction. We got the six of swords that came out, but the three of swords is showing up here as well, y'all. I do feel like this is some type of disappointment, y'all. Self-deception is definitely a real thing, okay? So do not lie to yourself about what you got going on or just like yourself in general. Um, With the seven of swords that's showing up here, it's like you could definitely be lying to yourself like, Maybe you're lying to yourself about you receiving an opportunity. It's like you do not believe that you can receive a new opportunity or some good news. That's what it looks like, especially if you have been through a lot of disappointment with the story of swords. Could also to be like, you know, some type of betrayal too. That's what it looks like for someone. 
What's this Ace of Wands? So we have the two of pentacles that came out, y'all. I see some things coming into balance. We got the tower that came out too. So definitely expect some unexpected changes. I do feel like this energy is like when it hits, um, you could receive like an unexpected message or like an email surrounding work, career, business, or whatever the case is. Um, it's definitely some type of spark of inspiration or something coming into where it has potential, but it's like you could be deceiving yourself. It's almost like you could be lying to yourself, like, um, you know, maybe you could be saying that you don't want to start new, or maybe you feel like this direction is not a good direction for you, but Spirit's saying, yeah, it is. You may feel like things are um, changing for you, like, for the worst, but really it's going to work out in your favor with the Tower card showing up. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands. There could be some type of invite that's coming in with this Knight of Cups. There's another card that um, flipped over. It almost went underneath my couch. But yeah, there's some type of news that's coming in. It's definitely, the way it's showing up here, it's like a some form of like a surprise with this Page of Cups that's showing up here, y'all. But it's leading you to a new direction. Look, Eight of Cups that's coming out. I do see where someone's moving away from some type of, or like, walking away from a situation where something's lacking i don't know what it could be it could be like you know finances something is like you're lacking something and this is why this ace of wands is coming in some type of new idea or a new venture some good news that's going to be showing up uh, for you this could be a love offer for someone too but it definitely has potential y'all i don't see kings up here or like queens but um, whatever this is, it could start off as like something small, but it has potential to be like possibly long term for someone. Tell me about this three of cups. What is this three of cups? What is this three of cups? Yeah, look, three, I mean, um, the five of cups showing up here, y'all. And I was just about to say, like, as I was shuffling, I was about to say, and I wish I would have went on and said it, but I was about to say that um, don't let any type of, like, past deception, like, keep you down and stuck. It's like, do not let that um, take your power. Like, call your power back with this five of cups. It's like, what? Like, you're going to sit here with your head down? Like, you have, you're going to have something to celebrate for. So pick your head up now with this five of cups type of energy he crying over these like he over here moping moping about these three cups that done spilled over he got two behind him um for some of y'all you may have not even like really dressed up in a while <laughs> um the way it's showing up here it's like he's in a blanket like he being at he been at home down and out depressed with this five of cups showing up here it's like no you're about to have some things to celebrate for um we got the page of pentacles that's coming out too. So yeah, whatever this energy is, y'all, it definitely has potential. But the way it shows up, it could definitely come um, in a form of some type of small offer. This could be a career opportunity that's being presented to someone as well. But it feels like it's something new. And it's almost like you could be telling yourself, like, it's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. But no, it really is going to work out. Like, it's time for you to head into a new direction. Don't know exactly when it's coming in, but the Ace of Wands did show up. So it's definitely like a quick moving type of energy. Tell me about this. Um, tell me more about this Seven of Swords. The Four of Pentacles just shot to pop out, y'all. So, yeah, whatever this information is, Spirit is saying move in silence about it. Like, keep it to yourself. Also, too, if it's, like, some type of money that's, that comes into some, um, that someone comes into as well, it's something tangible. So, I don't know exactly what it could be. It could be money. Um, I don't know what it could be. It's something tangible, though. 
but it's like you're needing to keep it to yourself. It's like it's only for you and not other people. So it's like don't be sharing it with other people, whatever that could be. Tell me about this page of pen. No, actually, I was gonna. I was trying to get the seven of swords. Tell me about the seven of swords. Yeah, look, keep it a secret, y'all. The high priestess showing up here. And look, we got the moon card that came out too. Keep your plans hidden. Look, <laughs> clear as day. This could also too be like a new partnership for someone too, y'all. Yes, yeah, Spirit saying keep it private. That's what it looks like because whatever this energy is, it's like you're going to be celebrating, right? But it's like everybody can't celebrate with you. But it's five of cups. He's alone, okay? This person is alone. They don't have nobody. I mean, even though it's two cups, but it's like no physical people. When you were in your like down and out or like having a cloudy day, um, who could you call on? And I've been saying that a lot too. I think I had made like a TikTok and I was talking about that. But like, think about it. Like when you was down and out or like when you could have been like depressed or, you know, just like um, not doing so great, okay? Um, you could have been just like, you know, thinking really negative about your current situation. Who could you call up to talk to? Like who was really, really there for you? That's what spirits want you to um to remind you of as well. Cause it's some it's almost like a lonely type of energy as well. You could have definitely gotten left out in the cold, y'all. So yeah, just like keep listen, keep like a little a list, a checklist. Who was there? Who could you call on? Check your um contact list too. Who was answering their, who was answering their phone when you needed them? It could have been three o'clock in the morning. Who was who um who could have picked um who was picking up the phone for you at three o'clock in the morning? I don't know. <laughs> Tell me about this three of cups. Tell me about this three of cups. So this could be a new partnership for some of y'all. But look, Four of Pentacles is here again. See, you're needing to keep this to yourself. It's like keeping it safe. Like not letting everybody in your business. Tell me more about this, um, this Ace of Wands that's coming in. Yeah, it's some it's some unexpected changes, but look, Seven of Wands is showing up here too, y'all, with the tower. So yeah, whatever this um this energy is, it's almost like you're gonna have to protect it with the Seven of Wands. But it's almost like people could be trying to be in your business, or it's like outside energies. It could be um past people. It's like people got their opinions about some type of relationship, or this could be like some type of business relationship to y'all, or something new that you're about to be doing. Like people really got something to say, but they're irrelevant and you have the advantage over these people. So yeah, it's definitely a need to stand your ground. Definitely um, a need to set boundaries too, y'all, especially with like information too. That's what it looks like. So I hear something banging. What the hell? Oh. Tell me more about this. Tell me about the tower. I'm going to pull one more card and I'm going to go. Tell me about the tower. Yeah, look, two of cups. This could be some type of new connection to y'all with the energy showing up in here. But this is very, very general. This could be, um, for some people, this could resonate with you in regards to like work, career. Either way, you heading into a new direction, but it's a need to um, keep people out of your business. Knight of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles was right underneath this. So yeah, whatever this is, it could definitely be long term. It is showing up here as like nights, y'all. But you know, like the nights do have potential. So yeah, this whatever this offer is, it's something tangible. It could be money as well, or some type of some form of assistance. But um, it's like you're not try not to. Um, I mean, I can't tell you what to do, y'all. But it's like this energy of like not sharing it. That's what it seems like because you work for it. This is like well deserved for someone. And I do feel like this energy where you could have definitely been like, you know, healing. Um, you could have definitely went through some form of betrayal too, y'all. I feel like, yeah, 
especially with the three of swords showing up here in the read and the five of cups but don't let that keep you down like if you know somebody betrayed you you know move move forward from that don't keep dwelling on it I'm gonna get advice. I don't know what that was. Give me advice. Give me advice. Spirit saying be happy. As soon as this card came out and I was asking about advice, be happy. Look, Ten of Cups, this is what someone's coming into. We got the star card that's showing up here too. So definitely just have faith in regards to this. Like if this is what you're wanting, y'all. Um, but yeah, with this Ten of Cups, it's like you're gonna have to protect your own happiness. So I'm going to leave the read here, y'all. I hope that was helpful. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe as well to the channel.